Which is better? The Platinum LED Biomax 300 or the Mito Red Light Mito Adapt Min? Let's find out. Both of these panels have only been on the market for a few months now. Platinum LED, well known for their high powered, innovative products. Mito Red, always nipping at the heels of Platinum LED, but they come out with some neat features that often put them slightly ahead of the Biomax. Well, what I'm gonna do is compare these two panels head to head on various metrics. We're gonna look at power, price, warranty, ease of use, control panel, and anything else I can think of. Uh, I have been playing around with these panels for a while now. I do know them pretty well. And I'll tell you now for free, both of these panels are gonna help you if you're looking for the red light therapy. But there's only gonna be one winner. We will reveal that at the end of the video. First up, let's look at size. As you can see, the Biomax is the larger panel. It is 19 inches tall, nine inches across. The Mito Adapt Min over here is only 12 inches tall and nine inches across again. It does mean the Biomax is slightly heavier, but if you're using these as tabletop panels, that's probably not gonna bother you too much. Now, if you're looking at these panels purely from a face treatment point of view, the smaller Mito Red panel is gonna be perfectly fine. However, if you do expect to use these panels for I don't know, your back or a sore knee or other areas of the body, like a full body treatment, then of course the larger panel is gonna be more suited to you. When it comes to LED count, the Biomax has 100 LEDs, the Mito Adapt has 72 LEDs. But what's interesting here is the Mito Adapt uses dual chip LEDs. So that means for each lens you see here, there's actually two diodes in there emitting light. This is pretty cool and we will talk about it in the wavelength section shortly, but it does mean you're gonna get a more dispersed, even spread of light. So that is a good advantage with the Mito Red panel. Okay, so let's look at wavelengths now. The Biomax actually uses six different wavelengths. You've got your 630 red light, you've got your 630 and your 660 nanometer red light, you've got 810, 830 and 850 nanometer near infrared light, and then you have this blue lights. As you can see, there's only two LEDs that are emitting that blue light and they're spread about six inches apart. Now this blue light is going to be beneficial for skin health, especially acne. It is a nice addition to the panel. Uh, it may have been better if they're a little bit closer together and there is a switch in this panel so you can disable the blue lights if you don't want them. Over here with the Mito Adapt Min, we have four wavelengths, 630 and 660 red light and then 810 and 850 nanometer near infrared light. There's no 830 nanometer light in this one and there's also no blue light. However, here's where it gets a little bit interesting. There's an even split between these four wavelengths and the Mito Red Light. 25% of the energy is going to each of the four wavelengths. With the Biomax, it's a lot different. 80% of the light is going to your 660 and 850 nanometers and then the remaining 20% is split between three wavelengths. If you've done the research and you really like, let's say 810 nanometer light for deeper penetration or the brain health, or let's say you really want uh, a nice blend of red light with your 630 and your 660 nanometer light, the Mito Red panel is actually gonna be better. If you're not too worried about that and you just wanna get as many wavelengths as possible and you really want that blue wavelength, then of course the Biomax is gonna be better. All right, so what about power output? Now, it's important to note that pretty much any panel that's on the market today puts out plenty of power. There's no issues with getting something that's not gonna be up to the job. And this is panels I'm referring to. But it still is interesting to look at the power figures. So the Biomax over here puts out an average of 70.3 milliwatts over centimeter squared. Mito Adapt puts out 42 milliwatts over centimeter squared at the same distance. When we look at the total wattage output, the Biomax was putting out 47 watts of therapeutic red light, the Mito Adapt 21 watts of therapeutic red light. What does this all mean? Well, in simple terms, you're getting a lot more therapeutic red light and the infrared light and blue from the Biomax panel compared to the Mito Adapt panel. Now remember, they're both gonna work. It just means the Biomax panel, you can stand further away to get the same dose or do shorter treatment times. If you are time poor, or you're looking for a panel to not only target the face, but other areas of the body, those extra watts plus the extra size is gonna be a lot more beneficial. Okay, what about ease of use and controls? This space has changed a lot over the years. 
Uh, it used to just be a big switch on the top and then maybe an LCD screen with a few buttons. Now we have remotes, touchscreen control panels, and even apps. So let me run through what you get with each of these panels. First up, the Platinum LED Biomax has the really nice sleek touchscreen control panel. It was introduced in their second generation panel. Remember, this is their third. And I have to tell you now, it works really, really well. It's very responsive. The screen's big enough to, to easily use. You can lower the power intensities between the wavelengths. You can lower either the red or the near infrared wavelengths uh, or both you can drop the power back if you just want some background ambient light it's easy to connect multiple panels together um, and of course you can see the timer easily on the side of the screen the mito adapt panel on the other hand isn't touchscreen it's not as nice the resolution isn't as sharp and, and the screen's not as big either you've then got four buttons uh, which you can use to change various settings in this panel and of course change the timer you can also drop the power intensity down from 1% through to 100%. Now the Biomax also comes included with this free rechargeable remote. It is handy, but it is quite limited. It simply has an on and an off button. And that simply defaults to 20 minutes on, have full power, all wavelengths running, or turning it off. The Mito Red Adapt doesn't have a remote. However, both of these panels also include an app. Now the app is also quite interesting. For the Biomax, it replicates what you see on the control panel. There's nothing new. There's nothing extra, it just does exactly the same thing. But of course you can control the panel from where, wherever you are in the room. The Mito Red app is quite unique. Firstly, you need to create an account when you set up the app. You then answer a few questions such as your skin tone and what you're hoping to achieve from this panel. In the app, you'll see there's 11 different modes. These are built into the panel itself and you can also access them through the control panel on the side. You don't necessarily need the app here. But the idea behind this app is that it will track your usage and what mode you use. And over time, the app will ask you how you're finding your progress in certain areas of health and wellness. The idea being, eventually MitoRed will be able to say, hey, look, mode three is really beneficial for joint health or whatever it may be. Now, I do see some big issues with this and I've covered that in detail in my Mito Adapt Min dedicated review, so you can check that out if you want. However, they're hoping it's gonna be an absolute game changer for the industry. So what do each of those modes mean? Well, all it does is changes what wavelengths are running and at what intensity. So for instance, you can just have your red light running, or you may want your 630 and the near infrared running, or you may want 850 and both red light, but no 810. With the Biomax, you don't have that full control. Personally, 95% of the time I use a red light therapy device, I'm using both red light and near infrared light. So I'm not too excited by the mode functionalities in this panel, but some people will like it. While we're talking about that, one last thing, the app on the Mito Red panel is a little bit, again, outdated, especially when compared to the Biomax, which is surprising because it is a new app. Okay, so what about price then? Okay, so obviously there are some big differences to, between these panels. Well, fortunately, discount code Alex will work on both of these panels. It will save you 5% on the Platinum panel or on the Mito Red panel. So the discounted code for the Biomax is 597 US dollars. There's also free shipping to the USA. The Mito Adapt over here is a little bit cheaper with a discounted price of $521, also with free uh, USA shipping. So that means the Biomax is about $70 more expensive. However, you're getting more power and more LEDs and a few more wavelengths as well. Though, there is one thing I need to point out. $597 doesn't include the stand. Whereas over here with the Mito Red, the $521 does include the stand. So let's talk about stands. If you want a stand with the Biomax panel, expect to pay about $120 extra. What's neat is Platinum do sell a range of stands. There's this metal tabletop stand. I really like it. It's the same color as the, the metal panel. It works really well, looks good. Uh, there's also an articulating desktop arm, which is handy if you want to target various areas. Uh, plus there's your standard hooks to hang from a door or from the wall, from the wall plus a wall hang, hanging bracket as well. So you've got lots of options here. With Mito Red, the stand's included. It is a metal and plastic stand. There's one thing that really annoys me here and the color is different. The stand is like a real ice white and the panel itself is more of a off white. This stand though does have two pivot points so you can move the height and the angle, which is kind of neat. Okay, so let's sum it up. Biomax is slightly larger has more wavelengths, has a lot more power, but is more expensive. It's also nicer to control. 
Mono red light over here. It's cheaper, especially with the stand that's included. It doesn't have as many wavelengths. There's no blue light either. It does have quite a unique app with the usage tracking. And even though it only has four wavelengths, it has a more even spread of that light. So which one's better? Like many things, it depends on what you want. If you're seeking beauty benefits from red light therapy, then the Biomax is gonna be quite attractive with the blue LEDs. It's also a nicer panel to look at and also to use, but it does start getting expensive when you add in that stand. Now, if you are super tight on money and not too worried about the blue LEDs, Mito Red Light may be a better option. But really, when you break it down from a value point of view, it is hard to beat the Biomax. Also, the Mito Red Light does have more power going to those other wavelengths. Plus, you may find the most functions and the usage tracking within the app quite a neat feature and that may be another attractive selling point of the motor red light now if you're still undecided as to which one you should go for be sure to check out this video because in this video i compare the biomax 300 with eight other tabletop panels including mito red's older panel the mito pro 300 i highly recommend you checking that out as it is going to help you make more of an informed decision otherwise leave any questions or comments below